I'm going to show uh, you a very nice case of a small melanoma arising in a background of dysplastic nevus. This is a case that Antonina Kalmakova has very kindly shared with me. And it's rather nice because it shows you just a, a very small melanoma, um, which you really need to look at the lesion with high power for a change before you can make a definitive diagnosis. So let's have a look. Now the good thing is Antonina very kindly has dotted where the melanoma is. So we'll have a look at that piece of tissue first. At this magnification, all I can really say is there's something going on, going on in the superficial dermis. You get it clearly there. There's a, su a suggestion there, and there's a suggestion there. So we'll have to go to higher magnification to see what's actually going on. And there we have the lesion, really in its entirety. You can see there's some lentiginous growth uh, on this side and similarly on this side. And then in the middle, the epidermis is markedly thickened and then there's something going on in the immediate papillary dermis. So we'll get to a higher magnification. If we have a look at this end first, um, there's clearly lentiginous hyperplasia and then there are junctional nests. And it looks as if there's lamella fibroplasia. So this, this, this piece here is very suggestive of a dysplastic nevus. Let's look at that at higher magnification and see if we can confirm that. Um, if I get it nice and straight, um, well, I think I think we do have evidence of dysplastic nevus. There's uh, lentiginous hyperplasia forming all the way around these extended reti ridges. And here we can see junction activity, and I think there's some bridging there. And there's clear lamella fibroplasia. Uh, it's very, it's very uh, conspicuous. So I think it's reasonable to say that there is evidence of a dysplastic nevus. The cytological atyp here is mild. Uh, I don't think any of the cells are larger than the, any of the nuclei of the nevus or any way larger than the nuclei of the cells of the mid prickle cell layer. So if we compare that nucleus and those nuclei, if anything, these are smaller. So if one was to grade this, uh, it, I would grade it as mild, mild cytological atypia. There is a, a, a good field showing bridging and brid bridging in dysplastic nevus means bridging of junctional nests. It's, it's not bridging of the epidermis, and that's an important distinction. There is striking lamella fibroplasia there. Now, I, I can't really make this out very clearly, but I think this, probably a, this is probably a dermal component. There are inflammatory cells, lymphocytes, which makes it a bit difficult, but I think, I think it's fair to say that here we could call this a compound dysplastic nevus with mild cytological atypia. But then if we move across now, I'll just go back one part to get you into context. You see, if you look at this field here, there's something very, very different occurring in the papillary dermis uh, in the middle of the lesion. And one can see there's a population of cells that are quite different from the ones that we think are probably neva cells over here. So if we look at those at high power, uh, I think, uh, well, that's really quite dramatic. And the only explanation one can have for that is this represents melanoma. It's a very cohesive population of cells going, uh, coming down with a relatively sharp border. 
and the cells have um, abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm, very large nuclei with conspicuous nuclei, and there's a, a nice reniform or kidney-shaped nucleus there. Um, there really isn't any other interpretation on, that one can make on 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 this lesion. Uh, to my mind, this is clearly a small melanoma, which has arisen in a background of a dysplastic nevus. And I'll go back to slightly lower power. You can see there's a lot of pigmentary incontinence, and there's quite a quite a heavy infiltrate of lymphocytes going along the lesion. Now let's go back to low power and we'll have a look at the other pieces and see if they show anything interesting. We'll just try and straighten it up. That's that one there and see what we can pick up. Um, There, there, there's the epidermis. Well, that's quite nice, actually, because, uh, again, I think we're looking at dysplastic nevus. Um, it's an antigenous uh, nested junctional proliferative lesion. That There is a derma component there. Um, There's, there's a suggestion of some bridging going on. It's interesting that the nest formation is not particularly prominent. Um, I don't know what to make of that really, but it's just that's just a, a, a comment. Um, and some of the nests are there. They're sort of small, but there's there's one at the tip of the Uriki Ridge. There's another one there. There's the beginnings of a nest overlying the dome of a pillar, and there's one sort of at the edge of a reedy ridge. So the nests are, are scattered around the place. They're not typically at the tips of the reedy ridges, which you'd expect to see in a, in a banal nevus. But I wouldn't want to make too much of that, really. It's... Um, the, I mean, the, the important point of this case is recognizing the melanoma rather than deciding whether you think this nevus is dysplastic or not. Um, but we'll just go along this one and see, see what, what we can pick up. It's very similar to the other parts, isn't it? I think, you know, I, I think Probably, I don't have immunohistochemistry, but I suspect if we did, these would all be melanocytes, and I think we probably got tremendous bridging, um, but obviously I can't prove it. Anyway, well, look, that's, a, that's an interesting case because it just shows you how, how small a lesion, if you try and imagine clinically what that would have what that would have looked like it 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 would have been a very small lesion with um i suppose i suppose it would have had a small papule right in the middle but anyway so i hope that's been uh, i hope you've enjoyed it and thank you very much for your attention